It's an absolutely lovely question. It's a beautiful question. So first thing to note here is we have cos of alpha minus beta by 2. We need to find this. If we have a mechanism to find cos of alpha minus beta, then we are through. We know if we know cos 2 theta, we can find cos theta. If we know cos theta, we can find cos theta by 2. Now they were on also. So if we know this, we are through. And lots of times in trigonometry, we'll have to operate from, from what we need. And so you need to find cos of alpha minus beta by 2 whole square. And so this is 20 cos alpha minus beta by 2 whole square. Or we need to find cos of alpha minus beta by 2. That is linked to cos of alpha minus beta. What is cos of alpha minus beta? This is cos alpha cos beta plus sin alpha sin beta. So, if we have a mechanism to arrive at this, then we can arrive at this, then we can go and attack this. So, now I am going to look at this and say sin alpha plus sin beta is this, cos alpha plus cos beta is that. Is there a way to carve this out? And so, first up, we know that cos 2 theta is 2 cos by theta minus 1. So, we know that cos 2 theta plus 1 equals 2 cos square theta. So, if we can somehow find cos of alpha minus beta plus 1, we have with us 2 cos square alpha minus beta by 2. The whole idea is to find cos alpha minus beta. Once we find that, we are through. What do I find cos alpha minus beta? Cos alpha minus beta is cos alpha cos beta plus sin alpha sin beta. I know therefore that I can square this and square that and I know that sin square alpha plus cos square alpha is 1. I can use that. So what am I going to do? I am going to say sin square alpha plus sin square beta plus 2 sin alpha sin beta equals 2 by 3 cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus 2 cos alpha cos beta equals 1 by 3. I add these two sin square alpha plus cos square alpha is 1 sin square beta plus cos square beta is 1 plus 2 cos alpha cos beta plus 2 sin alpha sin beta equals 2 by 3 plus 1 by 3, 1. This is 1 plus 1, 2. It goes that side, makes it a minus 1. Nice. So far, so good. This 2 cos of alpha minus beta equal to minus 1. Cos of alpha minus beta plus 1 cos of alpha minus beta is minus half. 1 plus this is 1 plus this, which is half. Lovely. So, what do we need to find? 20 cos alpha minus beta by 2 the whole square. 1 plus cos alpha minus beta is 2 cos square alpha minus beta by 2, which is half. I want to find 400 times this, I will do into 200. Let me write this down all over again. 2 cos square alpha minus beta by 2 equals half. What we need to find is 400 cos square alpha minus beta by 2. Why? Because I mean 20 cos alpha minus beta by 2 the whole square. This will be equal to half into 200 which is 100. Multiplying by 200 and I will get that. Lovely question. Beautiful funda. So I am trying to go for cos square alpha minus beta by 2. The root is to get cos alpha minus beta. Cos alpha minus beta is cos alpha cos beta plus sin alpha sin beta. How do I get that? I square this, I square this, I add them up. Sin square alpha plus cos square alpha, simple. Sin square beta plus cos square beta, simple. 
then cos alpha cos beta plus sin alpha sin beta i've got that that is cos of alpha minus beta after that i am through but i have one look at the chat how did you get 2 cos alpha minus beta cos alpha class cos beta plus sin alpha sin beta is cos of alpha minus beta this is 2 times cos alpha cos beta plus sin alpha sin beta which is 2 times cos of alpha minus beta this is 1 plus 1 this side this one that side this 2 goes that side becomes minus 2 will become minus 1 or 2 cos alpha minus beta is minus 1 cos of alpha minus beta is minus half 1 plus cos of alpha minus beta is plus half which is 2 cos square alpha minus beta by 2 and then get to beautiful question the way of kind of unlocking this is to say hey i have to attack this it might help if i have cos of alpha minus beta if i have cos of alpha minus beta i can get to this or if i have cos alpha cos beta plus sin alpha sin beta i can get to this then squaring and adding becomes more easy what we need drives what is the first thing that we do when i did quick quiz for the first time i multiplied these two because i thought i had to get sin alpha cos alpha cos sin beta cos beta and but that takes us to sin of alpha plus beta and then in a couple of terms which are bothersome that didn't work so squaring this squaring that and then adding those two that really works Gosh. Thank you.